Hi guys. Hey, you know, I often see questions on forums and Facebooks on how to polarize a generator. So I want to do a quick video just to show you how I do it. Uh, this is a Ford uh, Flathead V8 era generator, but it's the same whether it's Model A or, or anything similar. Uh, this is a positive ground generator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a jumper wire connected to the, to the positive terminal on the battery, and I'm going to connect it to ground or the case here on the generator. So in this case, the back side of the mounting flange is clean bare metal, so I'm going to connect the, the jumper to that. Then I'm going to take a second jumper wire. I'm going to connect it to the negative terminal of the battery. And I'm going to touch it to the red wire, that's the power wire, coming out of the generator. In this case, it's connected to the cutout. So I'm going to touch it to this terminal right here. Now I'm bypassing the cutout. If it's on the car, uh, this would be connected to your electrical system. So I'm going to connect it here. And when I do, it's going to cause the armature to rotate in a clockwise direction when looking at the pulley. And that's going to, it's doing two things. It's doing, uh, it's checking that the generator is electrically sound, that, that everything is connected properly. Uh, and it's also polarizing the pole shoes. It's passing current through the field coils, which magnetizes the pole shoes and it sets the, the magnetism. When the power, power is taken away, there's some residual magnetism that remains in the pole shoes, and that's what starts the generator every time you fire up the car. It starts it to charge. So when you do this, only do it for a couple of seconds because that the, the field coils can heat up. You don't want to do it for a long time. It only takes a, it takes a second to polarize them, but you'll see the, the armature rotate here. So here we go. See it rotating? All right. So now I just did a, a check to make sure the generator is electrically sound, and it polarized it. Set the full shoe magnetism, and it's good to go. Now I can hook it up, put it on the test stand, and go ahead and run it. So, hey, I hope you found that was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel, and I'll have more things coming out soon. Take care.